consider the following. We are currently experiencing a global pandemic. We are living in a moment where vital access to accurate and timely science communication is needed. We need a multimodal approach, including but not limited to traditional news outlets, television, podcasts, and social media platforms. This dissemination of information allows us to make more educated, evidence-based decisions on healthcare and the health and well-being of our family members and community. Yet oftentimes, despite good intentions, the information gets lost or is never even transmitted to and received by some of the most vulnerable or marginalized in society. This, in turn, prevents them from advocating for themselves. For example, much of the COVID-19 conversations and data are not reaching or accessible to those with limited English proficiency, those who have intellectual and developmental disabilities, the deaf, hard of hearing, deaf, blind community, and the working poor. Inclusive science communication aims to ensure that marginalized communities such as these receive and participate in science that impacts their lives. In this interactive session entitled Inclusive Science Communication of Radical Rebranding and Broader Impacts, my colleagues from the University of Rhode Island's Metcalf Institute and I will share the results of the first of its kind study on how a unique group of science communicators are helping others to rethink and reevaluate how science is shared with particular audiences. Thanks goes to the Cavalier Foundation for supporting this project. So specifically, I will be presenting the results of a study by URI's Metcalf Institute that used focused interviews with inclusive SciCon leaders across career stages, disciplines, sectors, and modes. This new study builds on the Can Field It All 2020 paper entitled Science Communication Demands a Critical Approach that Centers Inclusion, Equity, and Intersectionality, shown here. This article is also available to download from this session's flip chart page on the ARIS Virtual Summit website. In this workshop, we will be addressing and discussing the following questions. What is inclusive science communication? Who comprises the inclusive SciCom landscape? What are the possible challenges faced by inclusive SciCom? What are the promising practices and opportunities of inclusive SciCom? And how do we create and sustain a network of inclusive science communicators? More importantly, though, we will have a conversation about how does all of this relate to the work you are doing. This is an opportunity for you to inform the final report of this landscape study. My colleagues and I are looking forward to engaging with you in this virtual summit and cannot wait to hear your thoughts and ideas. See you on Thursday, April 30th at 1400 hours Eastern Standard Time.